What's up guys? This is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video regarding Transformers The Last Night. And I know, I know, this week I have been a bit vacant for some Transformers news. And the reason so, well, this week was finals week, pretty much. Well, not finals week. I've done my first half of my finals and I will be resuming it next Thursday and next Friday. But pretty much all this week I was working on my finals, studying for my finals and you know, after putting out that Star Wars and Killer Instinct video, I just hit the books hard and, you know, I had to study for my tests and all that. But my tests are over, at least for now, and we are back once again with some Transformers news. And I'm here to talk about it with you guys right now because that's what's most important. As you guys can clearly see from this article, right here, right now, we have the first clear look at Hot Rod and Transformers The Last Night. And boy, oh boy, he is looking delicious. He is looking mighty fine. Look at him. He looks great. I'm really liking his color scheme, the orange and black. It really fits him extremely well, as well as he just looks so clean. You guys already know the CGI for this film is going to be off the charts, but holy, he just looks amazing. And Vivian, well, looks like she's having a tantrum or something. I don't, I don't know. Looks like she wants to hit Hot Rod or at least attempt to hit Hot Rod. I don't know. And Hot Rod's like, hey, Vivian, calm down. I don't, I don't know. But... This is pretty much a first clear look at Hot Rod. Uh, we're going to quickly read this article, and then I'm going to quickly read this description right here. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's make it quick and easy for you guys. <clears throat> Thanks to Entertainment Weekly magazine, we have a clear look at Hot Rod as seen in the Transformers the last night. The pictures surfaced on Instagram. Hot Rod looks very nice in black and orange. There's a brief description of some plot and some characters too that some may consider minor spoilers. Click on the bar to see the pictures and share what you think in the 2005 boards. Alright, so this is where I read the description to you guys. Alright, so we're going to learn a little bit more about Hot Rod, the movie, and of course Vivian. So let's check it out. Transformers The Last Night. The Transformers are about to go medieval on moviegoers. It turns out the war between Hasbro shape-shifting robots extends all the way back to Arthurian legend. And this fifth movie, an astronomer, Anthony Hopkins, tracks these connections to Oxford's Vivian Wembley, Laura Haddock, and fellow scholar, scholar, my apologies, who has no idea she harbors a genetic secret that could destroy or save the world. The humans are empowered in a way that is very different than we've experienced before, and honestly, it's not easy to figure out how to empower the six-foot human versus a 35 or 45 foot robot, producer Lorenzo D. Bonaventura says. Remember, comes face to face with a friend she didn't even know she had, the Autobot Hot Rod. So, clearly, um, the description is cut off from there, but that's actually pretty darn interesting because if you, if you guys can clearly see the description right here, I can't really highlight it, so I'm glad to talk about it out loud. But when they're mentioning Anthony Hopkins' character, the astronomer, when he tracks these connections to Oxford's Vivian Wembley, Laura Haddock, She's a fellow scholar who has no idea she harbors a genetic secret that could destroy or save the world. So they're pretty much telling us that Vivian, the character Vivian, has a genetic secret. And that's kind of crazy if you guys think about that because I did not know that they would, well, you know, make humans have this much of a role in this film. I mean, obviously, the humans, they've been having a role inside each of the Transformers live action films, but to make an actual human character have a genetic secret that could destroy or save the world? I mean, when they say genetic secret, does that mean that she may possibly have like some Cybertronian DNA? I don't know. It seems kind of far-fetched and it seems kind of weird, at least in my opinion, but I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about it. Hopefully they execute it well when the movie actually releases, but what do you guys think about this? This is actually pretty darn interesting. I mean, they're telling us they're actually telling us that a human character, Vivian, played by Laura Haddock, has a genetic secret that can possibly destroy or save the world. So that means she's going to be a key factor in the film. And this also leads to me also thinking about, in the trailer, if you guys can recall, in the last trailer that released, we see Vivian holding some type of staff. We see Vivian holding some type of weird staff, and it was kind of confusing because I was saying to myself, why on earth is Vivian holding a staff? Or what is she even holding in her hand? And in the trailer, you clearly see her looking at it and it looks like something got activated or something. So, I don't know. It's pretty darn interesting. And of course, if you guys like to check it out, I will leave the trailer inside the description so you guys can, will be able to see it for yourselves. The trailer.
the scene is at the end of the trailer so you guys will be able to check it out yourselves if you guys would like to but this is very very interesting because pretty much they just told us that Vivian the character actually has a very key a very important key role in this film and I really have to say that's pretty darn crazy I did not expect that I wonder what it is it's probably Cybertrody DNA maybe who knows Maybe she activates the Cybertronian structure underwater. I have no clue, but it's pretty darn interesting to say that she's going to be a key role in the film, as well as her having a genetic secret according to this description. So, you know, it's it's pretty darn crazy. And the way they mention it from the next sentence, the humans are empowered in a way that is very different than what we experienced before. And it's honestly easy figuring out how to empower the six foot human versus the 35 foot. So they're pretty much saying it's going to be extremely different for the Transformers. So I'm really wondering what's going to be happening to Vivian in this film. I hope it's nothing too crazy or something wacky. I just hope it kind of makes sense or they at least explain it well. That's what I would like for it to happen. So what do you guys think about this in the comment section below? I would love to have a nice discussion with you guys. Before I end this video though, there is something else I want to mention. And this is some promotional art of Optimus Prime and Megatron. That's right guys. We actually have some awesome scenery. Awesome concept art of Optimus Prime vs Megatron the classic leaders fighting each other and it's been a long time since we actually seen these two have a proper 1v1 because well the only 1v1 they technically had was in the first film and ever since that well they didn't really have a proper 1v1 besides Transformers Age of Extinction which is technically Galvatron but you, you guys already get the situation with that so we see Megatron battling Optimus Prime and for what it looks like it looks like it's on Cybertron that's right looks like it may actually be on Cybertron so I don't want to make too many of a far-reached guest but I want to propose this question do you guys feel like Optimus Prime and Megatron their final battle will be on Cybertron I mean if that does happen that'll be one of the most epic battles especially for the Transformers community because that's just something so freaking awesome it, it will remind me of Fall of Cybertron when Megatron and Optimus Prime were fighting on the Ark and boy oh boy that was just so freaking awesome so what do you guys think about this do you guys think that Optimus Prime and Megatron will be fighting on Cybertron for their final battle for their 1v1 if so that's gonna be so freaking awesome but at the same time I can't get too excited this is just toys this is just concept art so you know it's a high possibility that this may not happen but it can happen at the same time so I'm looking forward to it regardless because this movie is right around the corner and I'm just excited for it so whew, we see Megatron using his flamethrower you see Optimus Prime taking out his sword it's gonna be an awesome fight and I cannot wait to see these two battle it out once again there's also somebody else in this picture now, as you guys can see right here there's some there's some type of transformer just standing on some type of structure and I honestly can't tell what it is I mean I'm zooming in as much as possible and you guys can clearly see the robots on the left of Optimus Prime and he's standing on some type of Cybertronian structure and honestly I don't know what that is I don't know who that is exactly I mean clearly it's a transformer but who could it be I mean my initial thoughts were Bumblebee but I was saying to myself if you guys look at that robot it looks like he has something as an arm instead of an actual arm like a weapon as an arm and I was saying Bumblebee doesn't look like that type of guy or you know his arm doesn't transform into any type of weapon besides his cannon and well it's pretty darn interesting to see who this is I can't really tell but besides that though who do you guys think is that transformer on the left of Optimus Prime I mean like I mentioned before my initial thoughts were Bumblebee but now I'm taking that back because now that I got a closer image, I'm now having second thoughts about the whole Transformer situation. So I'm pretty darn curious and there are two things that are very mind boggling about today's video. First and foremost, we have something regarding Hot Rod and the character Vivian. Vivian apparently has a genetic secret and I'm wondering what is that genetic secret? As well as we also have an unknown Transformer on the left of Optimus Prime as well as, I said as well as like so many times already, but um, will Megatron and Optimus Prime fight each other on Cybertron? If that's the case, that's going to be so freaking awesome. But, you know, it's only concept art and it's just a toy light. So, what do you guys think about all these things I just mentioned for today's video? It's actually pretty darn insane. And I got to say, I'm pretty darn shocked about most of these things because 
some of these things I did not expect as well as well it completely blew my expectations though but I would like to know your guys' thoughts because I feel like this is very important and you know I would love to discuss it with you guys and all that so with that being said though guys that's all I needed to say for today's video once again be sure to comment down below your thoughts so we can discuss but with that being said though guys thank you guys for watching once more this is Sam Jordan here I will leave all links inside the description as well as I will leave my Twitter inside the description as well if you guys would like to leave a follow with that being said though once again I'm out and have a lovely awesome splendid day and see you guys in the next Transformers the last night video